so hi, my name is Anna Chong, and I'm here with the Sport Career Club. And uh, today I'm just going to interview um, Coach Cooper. Um, thank you for joining me, Coach Cooper. Thanks for having me, Anna. I'm happy to be here and, uh, and help the club out. So how long have you been coaching tennis? I started off in 2005 at Wilkes-Barre GAR. Um, and then I took a little hiatus until about 2012. In 2012, um, I, I coached over at GAR and um, we built that club up to about 20, 21 girls, which can really be hard in a smaller public school. And then when our schools merged over at Wilkes-Barre area, uh, I became the head coach of the Wilkes-Barre area Wolfpack. We, we had a team that uh, got to playoffs for obviously in its inaugural year. Um, and then uh, I was uh, fortunate enough to become the head coach here at seminary. And uh, so now I'm here three years. So. so why did you choose tennis? Why did I choose tennis? Well, um, I did many different things in, in my youth. Uh, and one of them uh, mainly being dance. And I focused really, really heavily on dance. And tennis became my um, relaxation and way, and way to kind of get away because I did feel I was athletic. I could play basketball well, I could play football well, um, but my mom wouldn't let me play contact sports. But she did allow me to play tennis, so tennis was a competitive sport that I, I could play, and um, I ended up enjoying it. Um, I always liked coaching, um, and so being able to uh, coach tennis um, in my later years when I became a teacher um, allowed me to still um, stay competitive with a sport without competing. And I do like to play on the side too. So what, what are some challenges that you've been facing as a coach so far? So one of the main challenges you deal with as a coach, it's, <laughs> it's personality management. <laughs> it's, you could talk all about you know, tennis X's and O's and what to do here or whatever. But when you're dealing with adolescents, um, boys and girls ages, you know, anywhere from, you know, 13 to 18, um, there's a lot of different things going on, especially in today's day and age in a child's life, in a kid's life. So you have to find a way to manage that before you get to the courts. So everybody's in the right, you know, mentality and, and supporting each other. Um, before you even start hitting, because if you have, you know, 10 conflicting personalities, it's going to be a miserable day coaching. Mm. So you find a way to kind of gel everybody and it doesn't come naturally. You need time. You, you, you need to, you know, figure out kids too and, and figure out, you know, how they respond to you, how they respond to each other. Try and manage that. Then you get into the X's and O's and, um... It's a roller coaster throughout a year. And we all know that Sam has won the state championship last year. Does that have any influence on this year's season at all? To say it doesn't would be a complete lie. To say that I want to ignore that fact is the truth. Mm -hmm. I want to ignore what happened last year. Um, everybody wants to hold us to that expectation of a state championship. But what I want to stress mainly is We've got girls that are 14 to 18 years old here, and most importantly is uh, their well-being, how they're feeling. I don't think, I think with the rigorous curriculum at SEM, and I think with the many things that the girls do, they don't need to be told that, you know, state championship last year, you need it this year. We were very fortunate last year. We earned it, but it doesn't come easy. And there are some players on this team who are going to contribute this year who have no idea about that. And I think it influences because there's a lot of noise outside saying state championship, state championship. But we've had many of those games and three to two, three, three, three games to two, we won. Those could easily flip and that could even flip at a district level. So what are some um, things that you are really looking forward to from the tennis players? Well, I do like the new blood. You know, when we see our one, two, and three, our one, two, and three um, are some of the, the best players in the state. Um, and, and I can count on them. Uh, with our doubles players, we have totally new doubles. So it's, it's, we got 11 girls on varsity. So that means that's eight players vying for those four spots and nothing's yet really solidified. While our, our, our singles players 
did win the state final, one, two, and three. Um, it was our doubles that also uh, ended up winning in different areas to bail us out. So everybody is truly important on this team. Well, it's, it's very good to talk to you and know more about tennis. So thank you for your time today. Thanks for taking your time out as well. Appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs>